What's up everyone? We're back in Ireland. Big day for us today. We have the S15 pretty much finished and ready for our first dyno pulls and testing hopefully later on if everything goes good. So today we're at Keen Walsh Motor Works. John from Yin Speed is ready to tune. The ECU Master Gear, an exciting day ahead. Nice to have this running and set up for the first time. We got the new six element carbon timing covers on there, which we've been working with Matty and the guys at. Uh, turned out sweet, so it doesn't have the hole here for the tensioner. That looks really tidy. All new heat wrap, so it's getting its first couple of heat soaks. So there'll be a bit of smoke and a bit of stuff to start with. We're gonna be setting off the oil pressure when it gets up to temperature and everything like that all the final checks so car is coming together really nice the wiring turned out really nice with the ecu master emu pro pmu 16s one in the front one in the rear here obviously myself and chris got it all set up the other night so it's ready to hit the track very very excited session going well so far got a good couple of runs done and roughly just over spring pressure 735 horsepower. Uh, we're getting some wheel spins on my 7 Michael are sitting up here, gaining some traction. Cars running sweet. And, uh, yeah, ready for testing. So we are just finishing at the dyno here. We're gonna try to make the track. We tune it just up until about 800 horsepower. Yeah, we're gonna test it at that, see how it performs on track, and then bring it back to John when his dyno is up and running again and uh, finish the final tune with the final push and see exactly what this can do. So, very, very happy. John, how do you find the new ECU Master EMU Pro? Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Yeah. It's like pretty, it a lot of different options. Yeah, loads of, loads of options, very good ECU to tune with, so yeah. we'll uh, give it a taste. That's our first 2J on the EMU Pro, the RX-7 was the first car you did on it. RX-7 was the first car, yeah. Which made it really complicated, four rotor and... Fire, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of news. Yeah, yeah, we'll test it on this at spring pressure and see how everything it is and then we'll get yeah. the push off. Yeah. Sweet. Alright, let's get to the track. Straight from the dyno and back to an absolute legendary place for Irish drifting. It's where I started, it's where myself, Michael, Mikey, two lads here, we all started our drifting lives at this very track a long time ago. I had my first event back here in 2006 and the last time I competed on this track, Ireland's Concrete Jungle, the house of drift in Ireland back in the day, Rose Green County Tipperary. Tipperary Motor Speedway. So we're here, a very special day. Obviously, first time we're gonna be driving the S15. Yeah, I'm very excited and what a place to test it. No room for error here on this track, but uh, yeah, I think we're gonna have a good time. Car worked really well on the dyno. It's all set up and ready to go. So it's a new build, so we might have some small teething issues. We got a small amount of time here until I'm um, traveling again. So just setting up a couple of cameras, ready to go for a spin. It's warming up. I'm excited. Just quickly checking the, some base things and we can keep logging and uh, go for a spin, see how we get on.
feels great. Everything is working out of the box perfectly. What a cool machine. I'm getting to like it. It's really cool. Look at this thing. It's so sweet inside. But, uh, right. Let's uh, change a couple of BC shock settings and uh, we'll try again. This is a serious machine and unbelievable to drive it back on this amazing track. Yeah. Oh my God, I have so many memories growing up here as a kid. I came here at this track to see my first ever drift event back in 2002 where my brother Mike won the event and uh, that's where I fell in love with the sport and the sport changed my life and many people around me and us and my family. You know what I mean? It just took us by storm and crazy to think that over 20 years later from when I first saw drifting, we're here testing a new car and trying it out for the first time. So really means a lot. Uh, I'm pretty exhausted. It's been a long, long, hard, busy few weeks for the team and for myself, but days like today make everything worth it. It's really cool. So happy the car is like running perfectly out of the box. A few small things. Uh, so with new cars and new builds and new suspension, everything is a little bit tight. So your steering is a little bit stickier and not as free as when you get a few runs in. So that's just our first set of tires. So it didn't have the same self steer that I'd be used to, but I know that uh, after a few more laps, it's gonna free out and yeah, it's sick. Awesome, love it. Amazing guy. What a day, guys! <laughs> 